Many species of the spider mite family attack both indoor and outdoor plants. They can be especially destructive in greenhouses. Spider mites are not true insects but are classed as a type of arachnid, relatives of spiders, ticks, and scorpions. Adults are reddish-brown or pale in color, oval-shaped, and very small about the size of the period at the end of a sentence. Mites live in colonies, mostly on the underside of leaves, and feed by piercing leaf tissue and sucking up the plant fluids. Feeding marks show up as light dots on the leaves. As feeding continues, the leaves turn yellow and may dry up and drop off. Spider mites are most common in hot, dry conditions, especially where their natural predators have been killed off by insecticides. Some of the many species common in North America are predators of the plant-feeding mites, which make up the vast majority. They are also very prolific, which is why heavy infestations often build up unnoticed before plants begin to show damage. Large populations are often accompanied by fine webbing. Host plants include strawberries, melons, beans, tomatoes, eggplant, ornamental flowers, trees, and most houseplants. Life cycle. Most mite species overwinter as eggs on the leaves and bark of host plants. In early spring, as temperatures warm, tiny six-legged larvae begin hatching and feed for a few days before seeking shelter where they molt into the first nymphal stage. Nymphs have eight legs and pass through two more molts before becoming mature adults. After mating, females continuously produce as many as 300 eggs over a couple of weeks. Hot, dry weather favors the rapid development of these pests. During such conditions, the time it takes to pass from egg to adult may occur in as little as five days. There are several overlapping generations per year. Note, spider mites are windsurfers. They disperse over wide areas riding their webbing on the breezes. Careful containment and disposal of infested plants are crucial. Damage. Large infestations cause visible damage. Leaves first show patterns of tiny spots or striplings. They may change color, curl, and fall off. The mite's activity is visible in the tight webs that are formed under leaves and along stems. On annual vegetable crops, such as squash, melons, and watermelons, loss of leaves can have a significant impact on yield and lead to sun burning. On crops such as sugar peas and beans, where pods are attacked, spider mites can cause direct damage. On ornamentals, mites are primarily an aesthetic concern, but they can kill plants if populations become very high on annual plants. Spider mites are also important pests of field-grown roses. How to control. Chemical pesticide use actually encourages the spread of spider mites by killing the beneficial insects that prey on them. Mites are also known to develop quick resistance to various pesticides. For these reasons, it's important to control mites with effective natural and organic methods. Read the description below for a detailed action plan on how to get rid of spider mites.